Liz, would you please share what happened to you uh, a Sunday or two ago uh, with the healing and thing that you were, were struggling physically with? Yes, so two weeks ago, um, I was sitting right behind Pastor Vlad, and um, just a little backstory: in 2013, I was diagnosed with lupus. Uh, for those of you who don't know what lupus is, lupus is an autoimmune system disease um, where your red cells and your white cells fight against each other. Uh, normally, if you have a fever or some kind of infirmity in your body, they come together to work and um, just fight those things, those viruses for you. Uh, but in my case, it's different. And so um, that was in 2013. Um, since then, I've had um, several chemo um, treatments um, where my hair has completely fallen out, um, just very severe, um, unable to walk. Um, Brandon having to take care of me completely, couldn't pick up a toothbrush, um, things like that. But um, at the beginning of this year, um, I was going through a very extensive um, strong chemotherapy. And so as a result to that, um, I developed or there was a cyst that appeared in a certain area of my body. And it got so big, like a kind of like a golf ball. And so because of the area of the body that it was in, it was so hard. It was so difficult to do normal things. I couldn't sit down. I couldn't. It was just so uncomfortable. Um, it even started kind of like um, just messing with my confidence. You know, I, I there's so many things I couldn't do. Um, even being intimate with Brandon was very difficult. So two weeks ago, I was sitting right um, behind Pastor Vlad, and he suddenly turned around and started praying. Well, um, right after that service, first service, I felt like I had to go to the restroom. <laughs> and so I went, and I felt so dizzy and just so... It felt flushed, kind of like when you're flushed, like when you feel like you're going to faint. And so all of a sudden, my body just starts letting go of this weird liquid. I don't know. I can't explain. I'm sorry. But that's what happened to me. And so I go to the car. Second service was you know, already going to start. And mind you, we're interns, so we have to be here to help serve. And at that point, I was like, OK, I have to go to my car and just take a minute. And so I went to my car. Um, leaders, I'm so sorry, but I ended up falling asleep. <laughs> taking a nap. You are forgiven. <laughs> I ended up falling asleep, and when I woke up, I came in, you know, kind of, you know, regrouped myself, went to the restroom, and it was completely gone. Come on, let's give a God a round of applause for this miraculous healing. Come on. <laughs> wow. So you could feel it in your body, right? And after you went to the restroom to check, you noticed that it's gone, right? And you started, like you didn't feel that cyst in your body anymore? Right, it's completely gone since that day. And um, it, it was just so uncomfortable. I knew immediately it was gone. When Pastor Vlad prayed for me, um, I felt this consuming fire come through my body. And mind you, you know, I went through some really extensive chemo this, the beginning of this year. My fell, my hair completely fell out. I'm so thankful for my hair. <laughs> um, and, and, and just so many things, but it was definitely very, very uncomfortable to the point where it was just unbearing. Like I, I couldn't deal with it, you know, and I don't know why you're here today. A lot of you are here for deliverance today. God doesn't only want to heal you. He doesn't, he he wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you. He wants to do so many things for you. And so I'm really excited to be here today and be able to testify of what God's done in my life. Amen. Come on. That's so amazing. Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate you. May God bless you. You can go back to your seat. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this content and this was a blessing to you, would you help us and hit thumbs up so that it could help more people to discover this video. It costs you nothing, but it can go a long way to help with the algorithm. As well as if you're not subscribed to our channel, hit subscribe, click on the bell so that you can be reminded each time that we upload videos. Thank you so much for being a part of this community. If you're interested in learning more about Hungry Gen, our internship, our conferences, deliverance, and so many other things, go to hungrygen.com for more information. And as always, remember, better is not good enough, the best is yet to come.